Hello, and welcome to what is going to be a pretty controversial yet highly requested mini tutorial on how to completely break the Switch Sports ranking system with a very simple exploit. It's a highly debated topic on whether performing this exploit is morally correct or not, and I could go on for a while explaining my own personal viewpoints in lots of detail, but that isn't what I'm going to bore you with today, nor why you clicked on this video, so I'll keep any opinions brief and relevant. If any of you are interested in a longer video explaining my thoughts on the ranking system, let me know in the comments. This is going to completely change how you approach Pro League, so this is your last chance to click off the video if you want to keep playing as intended and not be tempted by the exploit. Ready? Let's get started. So, what is the exploit? The exploit in question takes advantage of the Nintendo Switch Online Cloud Save Backup feature by saving a state of the game to the cloud, like how you would save state on an emulator, then re-downloading and reverting back to the state upon losing, negating any lost rank progress. If you're a Splatoon 2 fan, yes, it's the same exploit Nintendo feared players would use, which caused them to disable cloud saves, but they didn't in Switch Sports, so you're able to take advantage of it. On the Switch Home menu, head to System Settings, then Data Management, then Save Data Cloud, and select your user if needed. Scroll down to Settings, click Settings for each save file, then make sure Nintendo Switch Sports is set to Off. Go back to the Home menu, hover over the Nintendo Switch Sports icon, press the plus button. Then, scroll to Save Data Cloud if needed, and make sure your profile is backed up with a blue check mark. If not, click on your profile, and then click Backup Save Data. It shouldn't take more than a minute or so. Now you're ready to open up the game and start playing. If you lose and don't want to suffer the lost rank, wait till the game finishes and your rank depletes. Then, exit back to the home menu and close the game. Repeat the previous steps to get back to the Save Data Cloud backup screen. Then click Download Save Data, making sure to confirm by clicking Overwrite Save Data. Once your save data finishes downloading, when you reopen the game, your rank will return back to the state you previously saved. On the contrary, if you win a substantial amount of rank and want to keep it safe, you can use the Backup Save Data option to backup the data to the cloud, saving your rank as a permanent minimum. Hi, Editing Wave here and I have a slight quick notice that I've just remembered whilst editing. Make sure to not re-download save data when trying to unlock collection items, as you'll lose them as well as your lost rank. I prefer to turn Ragnarok off entirely in the in-game settings menu before I finish all the available collections, just in case something goes wrong. And there you have it, that's how you can use cloud saves to prevent rank loss in Nintendo Switch Sports. You'll still need to win an extremely high number of matches to rank up in the higher tiers if you plan on reaching S or Infinity rank. So try to use this in conjunction with your own skill instead of just solely relying on it and brute forcing your way through, as it'll benefit you more in the long run. So in that case, let me know if you'd like tutorials for other sports in the game, and check out my standard bowling guide if you'd like. Cheers!